Now let's take some time to talk about what boundary does for you in a projected area analysis in OpenVSP. So what we've done is we've taken our rotor and converted that into disk mode because that's usually what you're looking for when you're doing a projected area analysis of a rotor or a propeller. You're not necessarily looking at the projected area of the blades themselves, but the effect of the disk on something else. And so we have our rotor as our target, as discussed previously. And in the boundary, we have the option of choosing no boundary at all, which will just give us the total. Or we can choose onto what we are projecting this, this area. And so you can choose a set, which in this case includes the fuselage and the wing components here, or we can choose an individual component. So we can look at the fuselage, the wing, the tail, etc. So in this case, what we're going to do is do a Z direction analysis of the set in fuse wing and click start. And so what you can see here is the boundary of the area effect on the fuselage and the wings here has been computed. And so this boundary has the edges that follow both of these components and you get the total area inside. And this is the area that is underneath your rotor in the Z direction. And so that's a way that you can choose how to perform the area analysis on specific components using them as boundaries, as opposed to just picking an arbitrary shape or uh, having it project onto itself in a different direction. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an overview on how boundaries work in a projected area analysis in OpenVSP.